here, it's here, it's finally here. The new uh, Canon plugin for Final Cut Pro for importing your 5D, 7D, and 1D Mark IV footage. And uh, I've been playing with it for about a day now, and I wanted to show you what I've learned. So basically, you plug your card into your card reader, and it pops up like this. And, uh, you know, I think they even say in the manual, you know, go ahead and go launch the login transfer. But let's face it, we want to be careful with our media. So the first thing, the first question I had is, can I use this with a copy of the data that I put onto my media drive, which is kind of the way I normally work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my media folder here, and I'm going to make a folder, and I'm going to call it card one. Now, I did learn pretty quickly that it doesn't work the way I used to work because it really wants to see the entire directory structure for that um, that card. So here's the card. Here's all the the stuff that's on the card. Now, in, you know, in the past, I used to open up this and I'd open up this and I'd take the MOVs and I'd copy those in. But um, it doesn't work like that. So you really have to have the entire contents of this. So I'm going to uh, copy all this guy and drag it over here. I got about four or five shots here, 600 megs. Um, and uh, I'm going to copy the entire contents over. Now, once I do that, you know, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmount the card just to avoid any confusion. So here it is, and it's in my uh, demo project here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Final Cut, and I'm going to go to my media folder, and I'm going to make a new bin, and I'm going to call it Card One also, because that's where I want to put my my stuff. And I'm going to call that. Um, I'm going to do set that as my logging bin so that the clips that I import will actually go into that folder. Then I'm going to hit Command Shift in the number eight and it's going to call up the login transfer utility. Now if you just plug in the card it automatically pops up. It's you know kind of sniffing for that. But we're actually going off of a copy of that data which is in my um, um, project here. So I'm going to launch this guy. I'm going to go to my projects folder. I'm going to come down here and I have my demo project that I always work on. Here's my media folder and there's my card one. So once I select that, if I hit open, it's going to come in and populate with the five clips. Now you notice the volume name is the name of the folder and I would really recommend that you have a naming convention for your cards. You know, it's a card one, number one, card, you know, camera one, card one, something, whatever it is, it should make sense for what you're doing. Now here shows um, just some sample clips. I shot around the office here, and I can uh, you know I can scrub through them, and I can mark ins and outs. But I mean, really, who who has the time to do all that now? So once I have these guys selected, I can just uh, once I select these, I can hit Add to Queue. However, the important guy up here is this little uh, the little gear. I don't know what they call that. Come down to the preferences. The preferences is important because it allows you to select the format. Now it's a kind of a hard to see little user interface thing, but it has these little up and down arrows, which basically means I can uh, I can select those guys. So I come over here and I go ProRes 422. I like working in the HQ. Uh, a lot of people do stuff in LT. Um, we sort of standardize on HQ. So once I select that guy, I can hit Add to Queue, and it's going to start ripping and putting those guys into my directory called Card One. Now, as I was playing with this uh, last night, I realized that that 600 some odd megs, um, if I was going to do that in uh, MPEG Stream Clip doing DVC Pro HD, which is what I usually do, I would make about um, 623 megabytes, and it would take about three minutes and 34 seconds. Now, in one test I did using ProRes 444, four, four? is it 44s or 34s? Anyway, uh, because that was the default setting. You have to remember that you can use that little gear, this little guy, you can use this gear and change that setting because when you first plug it in, it's going to go to 4444. Four, four, four. And that's a big fat codec. So when if you were to de default and use that, you're going to make uh, that 670 megs that we started with turned into 2.42 gigabytes. And let's face it, you can't make data when there's no data there. And in actuality, at going to 4444, the EOS, uh, the Canon utility actually did it faster than MPEG stream clip. It beat it by three whole seconds, so 331 versus 334. Interestingly enough, when I tried the same test uh, to make some uh, ProRes files in compressor, it failed, which is kind of what it does to me a lot. So. 
the um, this utility looks really good. Now apparently you can only go to ProRes files or the um, AIC and you can use any uh, flavor of the ProRes. So if, uh, some, sometimes I still want to work in DVC Pro HD so I'm not sure I'm going to use this a lot but I like the fa fact that it gives me the the media start um, actually instead of being zero 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 it becomes the hours minutes seconds of the day and then it makes up frame numbers after that so it's pretty cool I think it's gonna get some use and I hope you find this helpful chat you later